let's get started creating a collection. So in the top left, you click Create Collection. We're going to give our collection a name. It's also nice to put in a comment. Find all devices by name. We're going to do this collection uh, based on name. So first off, I always recommend that you uh, limit to all desktops and servers, not all systems. They, it's mostly for performance reasons you want to do that. So we go OK to that. We go Next. Again, we do a query rule. We're going to give our query rule a name. We're going to edit the query statement. And then we're going to give it a criteria. So on the criteria, we click the new button. We click select. And then we're going to click system resources. So this is going to use the discovery data. We're going to go down to net bias name. Um, and the reason why net bias name is, is that's indexed versus name is not indexed. So this will make that query faster. And then we're going to change this to like. So using the example um, on the Reddit post that uh, this accompanying blog post is all about. I will go uh, like like this. I go OK. I go uh, OK. I go OK. Now, you can update every seven days, but personally, I like to change this to uh, once a day. And I also like to change this to about 4 o'clock in the morning. Notice that I don't have it go at 4 o'clock even or uh, 4 30. I have it on some random time. This still means that uh, if you have other maintenance tasks going on at the exact same time, they're probably done and you're not getting overlapping uh, tasks. So keep them at a random time is great. You go OK and you go next, next, and close. With that, your collection is done. you notice that it still has the uh, uh, weight icon on it. And if we refresh that and we refresh it again, we can see the weight it does. Now I have no um, computers with that naming convention. This is very specific to them. But this is just an example of how you create a collection based on a name.